guys, and yeah, I got a new camera thanks to uh, Roman. He was talking to me on Telegram. Uh, not not the Fallout trouble, but he was talking to me on Telegram, and he said, "Oh, you gotta get this new camera. It's great." And I'm like, "Well, it was my paycheck for the week." So yeah, finally another new camera and more Reno adventures. And as you can see, what a difference a week makes. I mean. It's been a week since I did filming, and I uploaded my first video of Reno Adventures. Now we're going to go to our second video of Reno Adventures, which is probably the last video I'm going to do with GoPro. Although I think maybe I might review a couple of seconds. You know what? I think. No, I'm just going to leave that one as is. Yeah. So you're going to get the little shakiness and all that, but with this new camera, I guess you're not going to deal with the shakiness. And I really hope this microphone works, because I'm still trying to figure everything out. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got lousy weather. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm going to actually go home and well, go back into my house. No. There we go. I'm actually going to go back into my house and I'm going to take my pants off. Yeah, just play video games because uh, it's my day off and I don't want to play in the snow. I'm sorry. I just don't want to do that. So, oh wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun doing some weird stuff with this. But Anyways, um... Again, I'm going to do a quick shout out to my uh, Instagram friend. Um, I don't know where the thing sh shows up. Uh, the links are now in YouTube. They're they're down in the description, so you got to kind of scroll down to check her out. Uh, her handle is Rotten Angel. She's from Germany. Uh, she does fashion design and uh, graphic design and things like that. And she just started her own YouTube channel, so you know if you could join and. Uh, maybe buy her a coffee on uh, Patreon, you know, that would be great. Uh, she would really appreciate it. And her cat's cool, too, so. All right, so this is the first video with my new crazy camera. And hopefully it came out right. Anyways, on to more Reno adventures. This time we're going to the mall, and we're going to a big-ass sporting goods store. Okay, this wasn't a freeze. And of course, you know, Reno's not just all casinos and food. I mean, Reno is shopping too. So, Reno actually has a mall. So, we're at the Meadowood Mall, and we're going to check out a couple of stores there because I need to go shopping for more uh, annoying t shirts. Yeah. Yeah, annoying t shirts. That's the word. So our first stop is J.C. Penney, which is like one of the last department stores in the United States. Uh, but mostly they sell clothes, jewelry, uh, some household appliances. But nothing like the department stores when I was a kid, where there were like toys and farm implements and... Uh, gardening supplies and everything else but it's still kind of cool to kind of walk through and maybe look at some cookware after JC Penny I gotta head on down to my favorite shirt shop and of course I gotta pass all the kids in the little play area and the photo booths and the big freaking bowling pin that's sitting right there my first stop is Hot Topic, where they don't have any annoying t-shirts or any cool stuff anymore. Not like the Hot Topics when I was a kid. Uh, Here we go, Spencer's. Now this is the place where I get my most annoying t-shirts, because Spencer's has a lot of cool adult clothing stuff. Now, if you all have ever seen South Park, 
and I don't know if you see it out there in the east, but yeah, there was a lot of South Park stuff, and I thought about it for a second, but yeah, I really didn't get anything, although I was thinking about getting these, but I'm also afraid of the feedback I'm going to get not only at the mall, but on YouTube, if I were something like that. And yes, I am sorry about the camera angles, but I'm still figuring this new camera out, which I'm telling you is kind of cool. All right, now we're getting around to the t-shirts that I usually kind of wear. We get around the corner here. Oh, yeah, other than some of the stuff that I can't show you on YouTube that Spencer's has, they've got a lot of cool t-shirts. Ooh, I was thinking about this one, but they didn't have my size! So, definitely for me, Spencer's is the place where I want to get some t-shirts, and... Of course, you know, Spencer's isn't just t-shirts, it's just the front row, the back row is more adult. So I'm not in Reno right now, I'm actually in neighboring Sparks, which is like the suburbs of Reno, I guess, or maybe Reno's the suburbs of Sparks, I don't know. Anyway, these are like the only two cities that are like literally next to each other here that I've seen in Nevada so far. Except maybe for Las Vegas and Boulder, but that's a different story. Uh, anyways, behind me, here in Sparks, is one of the biggest freaking sporting goods stores I have ever seen in my life. I mean, the thing is huge. And I'm going to show you how huge it is. We're going to go in, we're going to go check it out, I'm going to grab my GoPro, and yeah, hopefully I don't buy another gun. Because, yeah, ever since I've been in Nevada, I like been buying guns. Like, a lot of guns, because... I want to buy guns because I don't live in California. So, of course, the first thing, when you walk into Shields right past the check stands, you've got this massive fish tank with actual fish doing fish stuff. And as you can see, I'm still playing with the camera, but... Then when you walk into the center, and this shows you how big this place is, you've got a Ferris wheel. A flipping Ferris wheel in a sporting goods shop. Like, where do you see that? Most of the bottom level, I, yeah, I had to look at the Ferris wheel again, but most of the bottom level is like clothing and stuff. And then we are on the second level, and of course, this is where all the cool camping gear is. Like, you got tents and sleeping bags and Batman angles. If you don't know what a Batman angle is, don't worry about it. You'd have to watch the 1966 Batman TV series to get that. But, I mean, yeah, the camping gear here is really amazing. And then, of course, you've got the food selection of all these sort of freeze-dried foods, which 
you know, if you want in a future video, I'll go ahead and I'll buy some and I'll test them out for you. But I mean, yeah, two aisles of freeze-dried camping food and of course your camp cooking accessories. And of course, because of the Truckee River and Lake Tahoe and Pyramid Lake, all kind of close by, you've got your waterboarding stuff for your little kayaking or wakeboarding or water skiing or drowning. And then we go over here, and more camping gear like coolers and chairs and more coolers and cup holders and good. God, there's a lot of stuff around here. All they notice, Reno has a stadium, so we got lots of tailgating stuff. Cups and Gatorade holders and more cups and more hiking drinks and things like that. And then, of course, you know, like I said, Shields has a lot of clothes as well. It seems like clothing stores are one of the bigger things here in Reno. So, yeah, obviously clothing. And these are hydration systems, uh, the little uh, camelbacks that are similar to like the ones I used in the army. And like I said, more clothes and gym bags and things like that. I mean, look at this place. Oh, is archery your thing? Well, yeah, they've got a whole archery department here. I think in one of these days, maybe I might just get into it. Or not, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm walking over to the place I kind of dread and enjoy at the same time, which is the gun department. And we're just going to, like check out these guns while I sit here and drool because as you can tell my voice is like breaking <laughs> My latest thing lately, though, is I kind of break from the norm. I love the lever and bolt action guns and for some of these with the prices, they're not bad, but there are a lot of other gun shops out here in Reno that, yeah, I could buy the same cool thing, maybe a little bit cheaper. And we get the gun show here every couple of months. But yeah, lever guns, my newest fetish. Yeah, I saw these 45s and I was like, ooh, and then I saw the price and I went, no. <laughs> Another thing is these black powder revolvers. And it's kind of interesting with the laws here in the United States. If I bought any other sort of firearm here, I'd have to wait probably the whole day to get it approved by the ATF. But when it comes to black powder pistols, uh, I can just purchase them and walk out the door. So, I don't get it. The ATF doesn't even um, consider those guns. Why, I don't know. <clears throat> and yes, Shields has a shooting gallery. <laughs> and a lot of knives, if you're into knives, which is cool. And the barbecue department. Oh! we're talking America right here I mean we got all sorts of barbecues here and pizza ovens 
I don't even know. This, this one here, I'm wondering if Roman's got that. I know Roman has some sort of an outdoor pizza oven. Yes, I know. Where's Roman? I don't know. Okay. You know, this is another one of the cool things about Shields is, yeah, you've got, like, displays like this. And here you all go, because you all cry about my fishing, which I don't do, but... Yes, I had to go to the fishing department because you guys always talk about fishing. So, yeah, this is Shields fishing department right here. And yes, there's an airplane in here too. <laughs> but yeah, if you want a fishing pole, this is the place to go. Oh, wait. Doggo! 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 Yes! Doggo! Hi, Doggo! With such a beautiful day out here, I decided not to film any more inside, but I decided to go outdoors. And I couldn't figure out where I was gonna go and what I was going to do. So I pointed my car south, hit a couple of stoplights, and decided, yes, Virginia City is only 30 minutes away. And that'll be the next video coming up. Yes, I return back to Virginia City. This time, I'm doing the north end of town going inward. So, join me next time when I actually get the motivation to do a video. <laughs> or actually finish a video. And we'll go check out Virginia City, folks. Until then, as always, Yablico and Baka. I almost forgot um, there's two links down here uh, one is to my telegram channel uh, look the uh, fallout shelter join let's talk when I can uh, the other thing is also on the bottom is a list of things that I would love to get on Amazon if and I do say if you can mail me stuff on Amazon I don't know uh, and finally, at the bottom, if you don't have Amazon and you still want to mail me some cool stuff, uh, at the bottom is my P.O. Box, which means you can send me stuff. Send me stuff, but not a lot of stuff because I don't have a lot of room. I still have to look at the button. <laughs>